Let's return to This Week in America. Here's your host, Rick Bratton. Welcome back, everybody. Coast to coast, This Week in America. The Electrifying Angels Flight by Joy Munson is a continuation of The Electrifying Demise, a book we've talked about in the program before, that her husband Jim Munson wrote with Joy's help side-by-side at the computer in 2008. Joy wrote this sequel in 2020. Jim had a fatal fall in 2018 and left many unfinished manuscripts of other stories and deleted notes and ideas. Well, he told Joy not to destroy them, but she did not, and one day made a decision to complete as many of these efforts as possible. Today, his legacy and Joy's dream are real. Other projects will accompany Jim's legacy, as Joy's new exciting career as an author is also Jim's legacy to her. Joy was born in 1930, lived many exciting memories, the remnants of the Great Depression, homes without plumbing and electricity, Pandemics of tuberculosis, diphtheria, scarlet fever, red measles, mumps, influenza, and of course now the coronavirus. World War II and poverty were hardships of her generation and the many hazards of life in general. Joy Munson, author of The Electrifying Angel's Flight, is back with us on This Week in America. Joy, a pleasure. Welcome back to the program. It's great to have you with us. Thank you very much, Rick. It's good to be back a second time with you. It is always a pleasure. Loved having a chance to talk about the uh, electrifying angels flight. Well, this time, based on the electrifying demise, I want to talk a little bit about your background. And I know in, in everything you do, writing in real life, religious faith is so important to you. Talk about that, because that's really the foundation of you. Yes, it's been my whole life, and of course, my mother was a saint, and she taught us all, uh, relatives, cousins, everybody, the importance of faith and religion, and so my basis through my life has been prayer and religion, and many times it's come to my rescue. My prayers have been answered many times, and we must all be certain that we have our ears and eyes open to our answers as we receive them. That was a lesson she taught me to recognize the answers to our prayers when they come to us. Well, it was a great lesson and a lesson so well earned. Joy is is back with us on the program talking about the Electrifying Angels Flight. Her website, get information on on both of the books, is joy.stories.net. You can find that on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Doing a video version of this, uh, Joy is coming to us uh, via Skype. You can go to our website, thisweekinamerica.us, click on the uh, icon for videos and, and watch the video with the program. Uh, the book, Electrifying Angels Flight, has something for everybody. It's a great story that we'll talk about during the interview. What do your children, other family members, mean to you? You talk about the foundation, and I, I mentioned religion as a foundation. Family is very important to you as well, aren't they? Yes, very important. As from as far back as I can remember, again, my mother and her family, I remember so many happy memories and and good lessons that they taught me all. And I have tried, and I I think all my relatives, I have nieces and nephews and and aunts and uncles as well through the earlier years of my life, of course. And it was very important. And I have memories that I just I just really talk about stories. I. I really could sit down and just talk all day about my life and the many happinesses I've had and, of course, tragedies and and experiences and good ones and bad ones, as everyone can. And people should value their their relationships with, with their families. And this coronavirus, I can't help but think, has one good thing about it, and that is keeping people together more closely in their homes. And and I just think that has to be, have a good side to it with a, without the others. And yes. of course, as, I, as you said, the, the uh, restrictions, quarantines, problems that I had growing up were not unlike the coronavirus we're going through today. I mean, you've seen your share, and we've all gotten through those, and hopefully we'll continue with the vaccine on the horizon now that we'll continue to uh, progress and put this behind us as well. All of your life stories would make a great book sometime. Are you working on uh, telling your story? I'd, I'd love to be able to read that. 
<laughs> well, uh, I, as I think, and as you encourage me here, I think my fifth book, I'm planning to write a fifth book, and that will be some form of my life story, I think. It's, it's getting more interesting to myself. <laughs> yes, as you, as you think back on that, I love to be able to uh, to read that and to relive some of the uh, the life. Joy Munson, our guest on the program, talking about her newest, The Electrifying Angel's Flight. That's a continuation of The Electrifying Demise that was written by her husband, Jim. Uh, Joy, side by side, as they put this together uh, a few years ago, back in, in 2008, this book written just in, in 2020, Joy, you've got five children, and children are all unique and bring so many pleasures into our, our lives. I understand some of them have some, some very interesting hobbies as well. Talk about that, if you would. Well, there are five of them all together, so I'll be quick about it. My oldest is a son, and he's the only among four, do- four sisters he has, but he just finished about a year-long bout with colon cancer, and I'm so proud of him. He was so brave, and he's cleared now for six months at least. Fantastic, which is yes. And my daughter next to him is Laura. She's she's an artist, and her career is graphic arts. She puts together catalogs, and it's an interesting career, but she and her husband are target shooters, and they go over the nation, actually, and they have, have won some trophies and oh, fantastic. trophies and, and awards and I'm proud of them also and my next daughter is a car uh, enthusiast sports car a 350z club car club she belongs to and and she too has they the club goes across the nation and and she has earned several awards and trophies for cleanliness of the car and the best lighting system, all those categories. Oh, nice. It's fun, and I'm proud of her. And then the next one is Cindy. She's Jim's daughter, and uh, she is very intelligent and is a nurse and has been constructive in the literal construction of a large women's hospital in West Omaha. She was in charge of personnel, outfitting, hiring and firing the nurses and planning on the building site and that, and she's retired as are my children now, all but one are retired now, which sounds funny to say. And then the little, the the youngest one, is has taken recently participated in the New York Marathon race, which is exciting. And, oh yes, and un- unusual, I think, for a mother to have a young a, a participant in the races like that. And she runs every morning five miles at least, and then the weekends does more races with her local friends. And she will be turning 60 in January. So I'm proud of her, too. I'm proud of all my children. And should be. And that has to be so exciting to be able to share their lives and and all of their interests. Joy Munson, our guest, the book is The Electrifying Angels Flight. Her website is joy-stories.net. This new career as an author, talk about this because you do such a wonderful job in continuing the story and the electrifying angel's flight. There's really something there for everybody. What's this like being an author, late in life, an author? Well, it just makes me so happy and so feel so so worthwhile and, and useful in the world as well as entertaining people and surprising them and, and feeling satisfied with myself and people that encourage me it's just been wonderful they've been so kind and and in encouraging me to keep keep going so i'm going to i'm well into my third book now so it'll it'll be interesting i hope people will like it as well as they do the first two and the reviews are so pleasing to me i'm just so happy and it's exciting and just wonderful for me 
Well, the reviews are excellent, and you've got a little bit of everything in there, a lot of great lessons in life, a lot of great stories. You've got some romance. You've got, uh, you've got a crime element in there. You've got a few fights that break out along the way. It's sort of like what happens in real life, and it's all uh, in the Electrifying Angels Flight, the, uh, the follow-up book by Joy Munson, our guest on the program. People would go, and born in, in 1930, they can do the math and figure that out and go, why, wow, she sounds like she's much, much younger. Is this active life that you have, this creative life, doing this writing, does that keep us young? Is that a secret to, to, to being your age? Well, I, I don't know. I didn't have this inclination. I do have to credit Jim, my deceased husband, uh, with the uh, introduction to the authorship yes. career because I didn't know he had it either when he wrote his first book that was just a sudden realization but through his writing and his notes and his side-by-side -side companionship we had it, it just was something we had in common which we did have a lot of things in common but but I do have to credit him for that and I'm looking forward and and it's just amazing how the words come and the stories come. And it just is just other authors. I have heard comment about this and they say the same thing. Once you get started on a story, it just seems like the characters jump out at you and they develop and it gets interesting. And one thing leads to another. So I'm excited. Yes, I'm going to keep on as much as I can. And of course, I'm retired, so I have the time to do. Just and the that. ideas keep coming when we're talking uh, in the book, the, the medevac service. Uh, there's so much that comes out of that, dealing with people, hiring people, love interest, all of that in the electrifying angels flight by Joy Munson. It would make a great television series or, or a motion picture as well. Boy, time is going by so quickly. And all that you've lived through, and I mentioned the, the pandemics, a number of them, what what would you call the most tragic event that you've had to, to deal with in your lifetime? Well, World War II, I believe. I was 10 years old, and I would watch the newscasts and, and the Holocaust and the, and the traumatic things that happened on the newsreel, oh, yes. the, uh, the injuries and the battles, and it, it just has affected my life, and... Uh, and I, I'll never forget that. There are other things, too. But that is the one that most affects my life and the way I think about our citizenship and the world and our families and companionships and all the things that make for a happy life. World War II just creeps in there as an ominous trauma, tragedy that happened to me personally. You've I lived don't know that. everybody thinks that way in my generation, but anyway, I'm part of the great generation. Yes, you are, and you, you live through that, and you've seen all of the pandemics that I talked about, and you've seen all of these political changes over the years. Any thoughts on the the politics going on in, in, in the country today, where we are as a divided nation? It makes me sad to realize that there are so much wasted time arguing and trying to how do the other ones and the parties and the, and the hate that is shown is just distressing to me. I just hope that our future re revives to the yes. way it used to be. The 50s were, we call them the fabulous 50s. They just seem to be perfect. We, my age at that time was, I had my first child and the neighbors got together, the housewives met, and we walked to town and shopped and talked together and had house parties and compared family life and learned and worshipped and did all kinds of things together, school events, and, and it was just really a wonderful time. The 50s were indeed fantastic 50s. So I hope one day I will see that return at least a start to that same. Yeah, you didn't have screen time to worry about, did you? It was it was communication. You weren't, uh, you know, texting people or spending your time isolated, watching screens and, and doing all of that. There was this interaction with people that uh, that is missing today. Joy Munson, our guest, a few minutes left in the program. Her book is The Electrifying Angel's Flight. 
I, you're such a talented author. Do you have a favorite author, somebody that, boy, if I got their book, I could sit down and I could be awful, uh, find myself some enjoyment here? Well, I just recently bought a, an instruction book that was put together with James Michener's writings and all of his, not all of them probably, but his manuscripts that he has notes in the margins and crossed out paragraphs and little stories, short stories. And uh, I ran across a, a term, a, a comment that he liked to use. He said the world was his home. He had met so many people. Well, I just for fun like to call the earth as my home and the earthlings on it are my neighbors and friends. <laughs> And well, you have that to draw yeah. on. Yes, in so many years and so many people that you've met, so many life experiences, good and bad, as we've talked about, forms, you know, who you are today and what you do as as a writer. I mentioned this would make a great movie or television series. Do you have a favorite movie? Oh, my favorite movie has always been, well, since it was, since it was introduced, Gaslight. It oh, was, yes. It was Ingrid Bergman and Charles Boyer, and those are old, old actors, but they were famous. They were stars, and that is my favorite movie. I have a tape of it, and I play it, I'm sure, every year, if not more. It's just fascinating to me, the story and the acting and the setting and the whole thing business is just my favorite movie and movies like that don't get old do they you can watch them again and again and look forward to watching them that's right that's right it's meaningful i know there's a there's a favorite phrase that you and and jim used to to use often used with other people a few minutes to to wrap up here close with that this is something that's very personal to you and i and i love this <laughs> well my, we, we started out, we knew each other from the 40s. I was 10 and he was 12. But, but after we were married, we had an acreage and we had a lot of work to do on that acreage. So we named ourselves Maud, me Maud and he Claude. <laughs> and those were old horse, old uh, team of horses that Jim's grandparents had. And we thought that would be good terms for us to use. And when we wanted to do anything, any hard job and keep our spirits up, we'd say, Maudie, get this done or Claudie, this has to be done. And and that's the common phrase that we use throughout our married life. And, and uh, they were nicknames for each other. And helped you get through so many years. The, uh, the time has gone by so quickly. The book is The Electrifying Angel's Flight. And Joy, you mentioned you're working on other books now. Will we see a, 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 a sequel to this? Well, it's not exactly a sequel. It's one that I discovered in Jim's notes and some of his uh, detailed uh, plans for writing this book. It's kind of in between the first book and the second book. I, I hope I can pull it off so that it fits there properly, but it is about uh, one of his pilots that he hired in the first book or in the second book actually um, and his story and that is indeed oh it's so interesting and exciting it's not medevac uh, aircraft but he is a marine and it's uh, it's got uh, all the same things that the electrifying books have fantastic uh, well we played We'll look for that, and hopefully we can talk about that. The, the two books, and you'll get information at Joy's website, The Electrifying Demise, and the follow-up she, she's done, the new book, The Electrifying Angel's Flight, by Joy Munson, our guest on the program. Her website is very simple, joy-stories.net. Of course, you'll uh, find it at Amazon, Joy's on Facebook, uh, Instagram as well, published by Matchstick Literary. So all that information, we'll have it all on our website. Joy, the time is going by so quickly. It is so nice to talk with you again. Looking forward to, uh, to having you back with us. Thank you. Stay healthy, stay well, and thank you for being with us once again. Thank you very much. The pleasure is mine. Thank you, Joy Munson. The book is The Electrifying Angel's Flight. Information on our website, thisweekinamerica.us. 
back after these messages. This Week in America is online. You can visit our website, thisweekinamerica.us. Scott Pinkerton, associate producer of This Week in America. Jay Anderson, segment producer. Ben Watson, webmaster. Otto Bache, director of engineering and TV production. This Week in America produced and is a trademark of Blue Funk Broadcasting, LLC. For information on all of our guests and to listen to this week's show, our website again at thisweekinamerica.us. And I'm Sean Bratton, executive producer of This Week in America.